Hi, this tutorial will walk you through the process of trying to make a measurement of maximum phonational frequency range. What I have here and what you need to do is to open up your uh, file that has the uh, pitch glide in it. So that's the uh, underscore PG file that you collected in your um, diagnostic session and I removed the uh, spectrogram and right now I just have the waveform here and we can play that and I will play that for you uh, in just a minute you go up and you hit ready to hit the play button and it should sound like something like this Okay, so uh, this was a, uh, a male, obviously. Actually, it's me, uh, just a sample I did. And um, so since you've been through the other uh, orientation uh, videos, you should know how to expand around the area that you're interested in. Um, it's going to expand around this area here, which has the glide up and the glide down. Uh, depending on the client, you may have taken a break between the glide up and the glide down. And what we need now to do is to open up another window, and that window will provide the fundamental frequency trace. So if you go up to the View Open window, and it's called Pitch Trace in the drag-down menu, click on that, and you should get a window that looks something like this. I want you to select the Stats option, and then I also want you to, you can play around with the frequency range, and since this is a maximal effort task, the fundamental frequency of my voice might be quite high, so I might want to increase the range of the display panel up or down, um, and I'm going to change it to 1000 hertz, so that I know that I'm getting from 0 to 1000 hertz in the scale, and I should be able to get the highest um, pitch uh, fundamental frequency that I produced. Hit OK. And you can see here, and I'm just going to back this off a little bit. You can see here, if we look at the whole thing that's on here, we have our sound pressure level meter, or waveform, and then we have, this is the fundamental frequency that's been extracted using a special algorithm. And you can see here it's a little bit not very clear. And then you can see I've got a fairly steady high tone here, and then I glide all the way down to my lowest um, fundamental frequency here. And what we're looking for is the highest sustained fundamental frequency and the lowest sustained fundamental frequency. So what we can do is just kind of come in on this. I'm going to ignore this little area here because it clearly my voice is breaking there. And go across to here and what I do is I find that highest point here and capture that with the with a window with the left and right cursor and then I can look and find up here you can see there's some numbers uh, there's the mean fundamental frequency between which is the mean value between the cursors this is the uh, minimum value and the maximum value. And so we're looking for the maximum value, 563.8 hertz. So we can just round it to 564 hertz. That was my highest value. And that's going to be my maximum F0. And then we go over here to where my uh, fundamental frequency is at its lowest. And this time we look at the, for the min number. And the min number here is the minimum value between the cursors is 89.5. We'll round that to 90 hertz. So now we have the minimum value. And then you can use those to calculate your phonational frequency range. And that can either be just left as is or converted to semitones. And that's it. Uh, one other thing that I want to highlight is um, if you happen to have a vocal fry or glottal fry, your client producing that, don't use that or include that as your in your low estimate. It's going to dramatically increase their phonational frequency range and we typically don't include vocal fry in that.